Hello guys, today I'm going to compare uh, 3dB signal splitters the conver commercial ones against the TV quality uh, splitters uh, the first one is ZFSC-2-1 then the second one is uh, ADP-2-1W the third one uh, ADP-220 and then uh, this is the uh, satellite quality splitter that I took out from the from the housing and then I mount the SMA connectors to meet the same conditions so this is a cheap uh, satellite quality uh, splitter ranged from 5 to 2400 megahertz and this wise, this one is modified I took out the DC pass components like two diodes and three capacitors and the third one and this is a TV grade old uh, junk uh, I think Fracaro uh, TV splitter I took out from the housing and then I mount the uh, SMA connectors so I will start for uh, for a reference, the mini circuits ZFSC-2-1 will see the um, losses and uh, also the isolation between the ports. The first one on test is uh, ZFSC-2-1 and on the 144 megahertz. The loss is 3 decimal 25-27 dB and the response is quite flat up to 1 GHz so they are measuring from 5 up to 1 GHz even though the uh, split is, uh, is rated from uh, 5 up to 500 MHz good response up to, up to 1 GB Insulation between the ports, it's good, 32 decimal 4 dB, and uh, so not bad. Mainly, I will measure the uh, characteristics on uh, 144 to see if we can use the cheap TV quality splitters on that band. The similar response I have also from the ADP-2-1W so 144 3 decimal 25 dB and here is the uh, ADP-220 this splitter, splitter is rated the frequencies from 20 up to 2 gigahertz and we can see also that the response is flat up to 1 gigs losses are a bit higher 3 decimal 57 dB against the ADP-2-1 W rated from uh, from 1 up to 650 max And here is finally the uh, cheap satellite quality <coughs> TV splitter uh, rated up to 2400 MHz and this is the response losses on uh, 144 3 decimal 6 dB not bad and going higher we can check the 432 432 losses 4.5 and let's see on 1 gig 5.4 so this splitter can be used on 144 without without any problem
and now I will measure the isolation between the ports on 144 isolation is 20 decimal 9 dB which is not bad comparing to uh, ZFSC-2-1 isolation is 31 decimal 4 and ADP 2-1W 30 decimal 3 so this can be used as successful in 2 meters isolation is good also on 70 centimeters and now measuring the input match of course the third port is terminated with the 50 ohms the input match on 144 it's 15 decimal 4 this is let's say okay for 2 meters for the amateur usage on 432 the input match is not so good 8 decimal 9 so as we said before the device can be used on 2 meters but not higher and finally a TV quality a Fracara 3B antenna splitter from, from this box this is the response losses on, uh, on 2 meters 3 decimal 7 dB quite flat up to 1 gigahertz Again on the uh, TV quality splitter, measuring the isolation between the ports, starting from five up to one gig five megahertz up to one gigahertz. On 144, 19 dB, not bad. And finally, measuring the input match of the TV quality splitter, input match on 144 is 20 decimal. 5 dB so not bad at all this device can be used on 2 meters let's see uh, if we can use the same device on 432 432 input match 15 dB also not bad so <clears throat> 3 dB splitter this one made for a TV terrestrial can be used also on 70 centimeters with good results at the end here is the result the report of measuring all the 3db splitters uh, commercial ones and the uh, TV quality again we can see from the results that the uh, sat TV Chip splitter can be used on 2 meters for amateur radio purposes. 984 Queen Victor, thank you.